The theme of these two days is technology and innovation. And what a theme it is. In the past 14 months, since I've come on as the new president, we've launched a series of steps to rethink, revisit, and refresh the vision statement of what WCF is. We believe in a future of a sustainable and thriving cocoa sector, where farmers prosper, cocoa growing communities are empowered, human rights are respected, and the environment is concerned. The number one ask of our membership is to accelerate learning and knowledge sharing, and that's exactly the path that we're on. From the grassroots and the district levels, to national platforms and national fora is a common trade, which eliminates a common cause with one common value, one shared vision, and one goal, and that is sustainability. At the end of the day, this is about how do we improve the lives of the four or five million farmers around the world that, that, that uh, you know, rely on cocoa as their primary livelihood. And we've got to improve their, their, their livelihoods, we've got, we've got to raise them out of poverty, uh, we've got to tackle the, the social and environmental challenges that go with it. Um, so these you know, hugely complex issues but that we can solve if we work together and I think that's what the World Cocoa Foundation is showing, that when the industry comes together and partners with governments, we can start to make a real difference. The private sector can be a partner in finding solutions to the need for improved transparency, greater efficiency and inclusive growth that will reach more of the small-scale producers and smallholders that work in the cocoa sector, women included. In addition to financing that will have to come from the private sector, uh, private sector will also bring a lot of innovation through technology. I think there is uh, several benefits of participating to, to WCF partnership meeting. One of them, of course, is networking. A second benefit is, I believe, to share learnings and to share knowledge about sustainability in cocoa. So what others do, what do we do, and how do we combine all of that together to make that supply chain sustainable. What I focus on is programs that support farmers and um, their families to produce cocoa in a sustainable manner, a manner that respects the environment, um, a manner that um, provides them with um, uh, living income, and a manner that um, also respects human rights. Uh, two purposes to join a meeting. The one is uh, networking, and the other one is uh, to update the sustainability program in the world. At Marks and Spencer, we've got a real focus on sustainable raw materials. So um, we've risk assessed and looked at all of our raw materials, and cocoa is a really important raw material. We've got chocolate in um, about a thousand products uh, that we sell. So actually, although we're not a big buyer, it's a really important ingredient. So because of that, we know there's challenges in the sector, and we want to be part of the solution. It's sort of the, the latest and greatest of what the topics are, innovative approaches to, to how to address some of the key challenges in the cocoa sector. And I would say even more today, it's a, it's a much more robust dialogue and actual discussion around how we work together, how we collaborate as a sector to address some of the, the key challenges. Climate change, deforestation, child labor, just impoverished farmers, smallholders in general. There are many things interesting uh, in attending these kind of meetings. I heard a couple of things about uh, modernization, etc., how to, to scale up uh, good agricultural practices, how to work for a new model to connect uh, farmers to the supply chain and leverage better than it has been done so far, uh, the modernization effort and things like that. Colombia is a producer country too. We have we are smaller than African producer, uh, producers country, but we have the, the same kind of problematic issues. Then we are here to learn, to share, to networking, to talk to people about the same uh, challenges we have together. There's lessons to be learned from other sectors. Let's learn from the lessons, let's learn from our successes and our failures, and let's talk about them and find the common questions that we want answered and the common solutions that we can share with each other and really scale up. I think that's incredibly important. World Cocoa Foundation has a very strong and powerful vision. We're very confident 
we're going to be supporting a thriving and sustainable cocoa sector, not just today, but the next generations.